today's Tag Tuesday is the Reader Problems Tag because God knows it is tough being a reader. Hi everybody, it's Lydia here. So today's tag was created by Tiffany at About To Read and it's basically a list of 11 questions just about reading in general and reading habits and all that jazz. So let's get started. Question number one is you have 20,000 books on your TBR list. How do you decide what to read next? And for me, it's kind of basically depends on what I've just read really. So if I've just read something contemporary real world that's really kind of heavy going and stuff then I'll probably go for something lighter maybe fantasy or just total escapism however sometimes I'll if I read a book and I absolutely love it and I just want to reread it again um, I'll try to find a book that's similar kind of genre so if it's fantasy I'll just read another fantasy and all that jazz but um, or I'll just go on Goodreads and be like what book is this like and read the next one on that. Sometimes though I'll get sent books to review and so they'll get kind of pushed to the top of my TBR list and they'll be kind of the next books I read but generally it really just depends on what I feel like. Question number two is you're halfway through a book and you're just not loving it. Do you keep going till the end or do you give up? And until this year I would have given up <laughs> instantly um, just because I always thought, you know what, there are better books out there if I'm not enjoying it within, you know, a third of the way in or so, then why should I keep reading sort of thing. But this year I was determined to kind of not do that and as a result I have read some books which I've gone on to love. But yeah, there have been a couple of books this year that I wish I hadn't have kept reading, um, probably about four or five of them that I just didn't enjoy and I didn't get anything out of. and. With hindsight I probably wouldn't have finished them because they weren't that amazing. I don't like not finishing a book but you know sometimes you just start a book and you're like this isn't for me. So yeah it does depend a lot on the book. Question number three is the end of the year is coming and you are so close yet so far on your Goodreads reading challenge. Do you catch up and how? And I, I don't like to set myself a challenge and then fall at, fail at reaching it so I would try and catch up. I will force myself to sit down one day and just go for a book really quickly and but there are a lot of books that I could just read easily within a day and that would catch me up easily so yeah I would try and catch up definitely but honestly it would depend how far behind I was. Question number four is the covers of a series you love do not match how do you cope and in my case pretty badly honestly. I uh, I actually have this problem in that I have uh, The Lord of the Rings and The Silmarillion in this perfectly uniformed set and it's all lovely and they're all the same height and they fit on my shelf and look wonderful and then I have The Hobbit. I've honestly looked on eBay, Amazon, every single bookshop I go into I look for the uniform cover of The Hobbit because I know there is one because I remember at the time seeing it and thinking oh, I don't need to buy that I've already got a copy of that <sighs> damn past me with that series as well it also means that because I like to have them in order like it should go The Silmarillion, The Hobbit, The Lord of the Rings but I can't do that because it means I have a massive blue book in the middle of this beautifully uniform black series of books and it's like mm. It pains me. It physically pains me. Question number five. Everyone and their mother loves a book that you hate. Who do you bond with over it? Honestly, I just moan about it on here, don't I? <laughs> I mean, look at like We Were Liars and um, The Hunger Games, Twilight, everything. I moan, out, moan about these things on here and then people come out of the, the woodwork and say oh I also dislike them and it's like oh yes come to me hug me I love you thank you for that you're like a personal support group for books that I dislike it's lovely I am extremely grateful <laughs> question number six you are reading a book in public and you're about to start crying how do you deal honestly I don't really cry when I read books. I have cried once when I read a book and I believe that was Looking for Alaska by John Green and that was just because it was I was in a bad place when I read it and it got to me 
but in general I don't cry um, so I've never really had this situation. Question number seven, a sequel to a book you absolutely love has just come out but you can't remember the first book. Do you reread it or what do you do? I will try and reread it. It honestly depends how much time before the book comes out because I like to buy books and start reading them as soon as, if it's a book I absolutely love I will be like I have to I have to read this on the day it comes out, or at least start reading it. I will try and reread the previous books beforehand, but a lot of the time I just keep forgetting, oh I have to reread that book, and then it's a day before and I'm like, oh my god, I haven't reread it, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm just really bad and I do cry. I, I will just push through and read it anyway if I haven't reread it, but I, I prefer to reread them, but I just normally don't because I fail. Question number eight, you do not want anyone, I repeat, anyone reading your books. How do you politely tell them no? <laughs> I just don't really share books. <laughs> um, and thankfully, well, I don't know whether it's thankfully, but I think the people I know who read a lot and who might want to borrow a book they often will just like reading as much as I do so they will just, they'll just buy the book themselves or borrow it from the library. I don't know, I don't think I've ever lent my books, I just don't lend my books, I just don't make it a question. If I think the question is coming that they are going to want to borrow my book I'm like, ah, let's change the subject. Question number nine, reading ADD, you have put down and picked up five different books over the last month, how do you get over your reading slump? Oh my god, I wish I knew, I'm currently I've been in a reading slump for like six weeks and it's horrible, I hate it. I will be like, I'm going to read now, I will just force myself to read, or I'll be like, instead of watching this episode of Netflix on Netflix, I will read my book instead and I will just force myself to do it and I will say, okay, you are going to get to page number blah, before you finish reading today and uh, that is how I force myself out of it, but it doesn't always work as the last six weeks have been proof of. Question number 10, there are so many new books coming out that you are dying to read, how many of them do you actually buy? And I try to restrict myself. I will try and just buy the books that I'm like, I need to buy that book. Because some t I, there isn't often like a slew of books come out that I think, oh, I absolutely have to read that book next. Um, those books are rare, so I will, I will prioritise those. Yeah. Question number 11. After you've bought the books that you absolutely love, how long do they sit on your bookshelf until you actually read them? And it honestly, it depends on how much I love the book. For example, um, I have a massive long TBR at the moment, but I know that as soon as the Mime Order comes out in January, I will be on that like a car bonnet. If it's a book like that, then I will be diving in straight away. However, I've still got a load, of, I've got a pile of books up there which I got for my birthday, which I haven't read yet, and I do really want to read them, but I'm like, no, you have lots of other books to read that you've already bought, and you need to read them first. And I sometimes stick to that, and I sometimes don't. So it can be months, it can be weeks, it can be seconds, but it varies a lot depending on how much I want to read the book. So that is it for today's tag. I'm going to tag my newest subscriber, Abby, at Abby Reads. Go check her channel out. She's really good. And she also co-created the Bookish Sweets tag that I did a couple of weeks ago, which is really awesome. So check out her channel. And I will see you again tomorrow for my Top 5 Wednesday. So until then, bye.